General Electric, founded in 1892, has more than 100 years of history behind it, but it is hurtling towards the future, embracing 3D printing and big data. The Wall Street Journal's Deborah Khan speaks with Vice Chair John Rice on the future of the global firm. 3D printing, is that something that you use to actually build some of the parts in your engine? Transforming the way we do things. Yeah. Certainly in terms of the way in the way complicated parts are built. So instead of starting with a big block of steel and whittling it down to something that is maybe a complicated fuel nozzle for a, for a jet engine, you're building that part up. You can do rapid prototyping, you can be testing your ability to build things at the same time you're designing them. Does it save GE money because you can actually print these prototypes now? Yeah, it's, it's lower cost, it's faster, and it's, it also allows you to do things in higher cost countries. Labor cost ends up being a smaller component of what you, of what you build. If you look at back at the past decade, what do you think has been the most tra transformative change that surprised you? I would say bandwidth. When we first started down this journey with remote monitoring and diagnostics, we put hundreds of sensors on a gas turbine. Then we realized it was hard to bring back all the data because it occupied a lot of bandwidth and you didn't need all of it. In today's world, there's so much bandwidth available, you have much more flexibility. So the, the size of the files to get an accurate MRI or CT scan that you then want to transmit to be read by a specialist in some other city. You need technology to compress the file and then bandwidth to transmit it. And all of that's available today and it wasn't 10 years ago. Great, thanks very much.